Hello friends, this video on DNF Lock Elements Part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next element is lanthanum. Lanthanum was discovered in 1839. This is again a silvery white metal and this belongs to P6 now. In fact, this is the first element in the lanthanide set. This is the first element in lanthanide series. We'll talk about the lanthanide series. Actually, this is also sometimes considered as part of lanthanide series. And this La is the lanthanum. This is also malleable, ductile, soft. This is malleable, ductile, soft. And this is also silvery white metal. And this also forms this oxide coating when exposed to air and because of this it prevents further oxidation. Okay. And it has two stable oxidation state actually plus 3 and plus 2. We will talk about the oxidation state later. Here the plus 3 is more stable. Okay. It has only one stable isotope and they are very a lot of uh, radioactive isotopes. Only one stable and a lot of radioactive isotopes. This lanthanum actually this word came from a Greek word that is lanthano. And lanthano means to lie hidden. Correct. This is this word came from lanthanum that means to lie hidden. And uh, if you talk about the uses, this has uh, uses in uh, ignition element in the lighters, the lighters, gastro lighters, and the cigarette lighters has this. It is also used for uh, welding electrodes. So in uh, welding, we use some electrodes for welding. So here it is used. It is also used as medicine in case of renal failure. So in case of renal failure, this is also used as medicine. Okay. It also has the property of absorbing hydrogen 400 times its volume and thus it is also considered as a potential storage for hydrogen in the vehicle. Actually, in a given car, almost 15 to 20 kg of lanthanum is required. Car which runs on hydrogen. Because this much hydrogen, uh, this much lanthanum, this much lanthanum can absorb almost almost four times of this hydrogen. So one kg of maybe lanthanum will absorb 400 kg of hydrogen. Typically, it is by volume. So I can say that one liter of lanthanum will absorb 400 liter volume of hydrogen. Okay, this is all about lanthanum. The next is hafnium and this element actually was predicted by Mendeleev in because in 1869 Mendeleev has created the periodic table and by that time this element was not discovered. It was discovered only in 1923. So in 1869 itself Mendeleev predicted that there will be some element, there will be element with the atomic number 72 and he kept a space for that element. It is named after Hafnia and Hafnia is nothing but Latin name of Copenhagen. Copenhagen was the place where it was discovered and the Latin name of Copenhagen is Hafnia. So it is called Hafnia. Okay. This is also lustrous silvery gray white metal and it is used generally in the filaments and the electrode. This also react with air to form protective layer. So it forms oxide layer similar to aluminium. If you talk about zirconium and hafnium, uh, then chemistry is almost same. So zirconium and hafnium, their chemistry is almost same except their melting point and boiling point are different. There are various isotopes observed only found in ox uh, combined state. It is not found in free state. 
In fact, most of the transition element you will see that they are found in combined state. We talk about the uses, it is used again in filament and electrodes. It is also used in semiconductors. Semiconductors. And it is also used to absorb neutrons in the nuclear power plant. In the nuclear power plant, this is used to absorb neutrons. The next is tantalum. The tantalum again is my silvery color, but this is hard. It is grayish, blue is grayish, lustrous. It is rare. Tantalum is rare, and it is highly conductive. It uh, conductive, and this is highly corrosion resistant also. This tantalum word again came from a Greek mythological word that is tantalus. So tantalus is again a character in Greek which had both hidden and divine parents and mortal also. So this is again a Greek character. So from there this word tantalum came and this was discovered in 1802 in Sweden. This since it is not reactive, it is not reactive. It is not reactive. Since it is not reactive, it is used for body implants. Okay. And it is also used to make resistors, capacitors. The next is tungsten. You must have heard of this tungsten. The symbol is W, atomic number. 74 this is also p6 this word came from a swedish word tungsten tung means heavy and sten is stone that is heavy stone okay because it was very heavy this is very hard steel gray metal found only in combined state and uh, this was found in 1783. Okay, since um, the way if you see it's called heavy stone, right? it has very high melting point. In fact, it has the highest highest melting point of all elements. Highest melting point, almost six one nine two degree Fahrenheit. Okay, from the name itself you can make out right, heavy tongue means heavy, that means it has very high melting point, also it has very high density, very high density, it has highest tensile strength, okay. This is the heaviest element known to be used by any living organism. This is the heaviest element known to be used by any living organism. So actually by the property you can make out the name heavy or by the name you can make out the property. You can remember these things. Okay. In fact, there are two crystalline forms of tungsten alpha and beta. We will not go deep into this. We will talk about the uses of this. It is used in light bulbs, uh, filaments, x-ray tubes, electrodes for the welding. It is used in the military application also because it is very hard. It is also used as catalyst. Okay, so it has uh, some natural isotopes, it has some radioactive isotopes also, and it is, as I told, it is not reactive. It is not reactive too. In fact, it resists attack by oxygen, acid, even alkali. These will not do anything to this tungsten. Okay, and why it is W? Why tungsten symbol is W? Because W stands for Wolfram. Tungsten is also called Wolfram. Okay. The next is rhenium. Again, this is also if you see silver white metal, and this is also my P6. Okay. Now, it is also a rare element, it is very very rare, R for rhenium, R for rare, very very rare. It 
it is also very hard very hard it has almost third highest melting point and the highest boiling point this has highest boiling point of any metal and it has third highest melting point of any metal if you talk about the first and second the first comes is tungsten and the second is carbon and the third is my rhenium for the melting point but for the boiling point it has the highest boiling point discovered it was in 1925 okay and this is named rhenium this is named after this river rhine in europe we have a river rhine and this is named after that river rhine it is very expensive actually and see if you see it has such a huge good property that it is the highest boiling point and third highest melting point since the property is so good it is in huge demand high demand but low supply since high demand and low supply that is rare it is very expensive is very expensive metal okay actually if you see it is discovered in 1925 and mendeley uh, predicted this because mendeley periodic table came way before 1925 it has only one stable isotopes and 25 radioactive isotopes and the primary use of this is, is it is very hard and very costly also it, it can be used only in the costly industry like jet industry right the flight the aeroplane industry so it is used Uh, in jet engines for exhaust nozzles and it is used in uh, to make other parts also of the jet engines because there we are looking at the high uh, melt metals which can resist high temperature and which can be hard thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.